Hey friends, my name is Steve Guttenberg and I am the Audiophiliac. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. But long, 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 long before there was an Audiophiliac Daily Show, there was an Audiophiliac blog on CNET.com. Actually, it was 11 years ago today, August 3rd, 2007, was the very first Audiophiliac blog. And it was called, My Speakers Can Beat Up Your TV. Because I was kind of, I was fed up in a way. Because I always felt that audio was taking a back seat to TVs and video. Because plasma TVs were kind of a big deal at that point. Big screen flat TVs were, were getting all the attention. And people would always kind of push down audio. Yeah, well, you know, I'll spend, you know, $2,000 on a TV. TVs were actually more expensive then than now. I'll spend four or five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 on a TV, but I'll... I'll be okay with a $500 audio system. And I was kind of bugged about that. And that's what sort of inspired the first blog, My Speakers Can Beat Up Your TV, because my thing was that your TV is going to be obsolete or crap out, and, you know, in five years or seven or eight years or something, and, or it'll be obsolete and you'll need to get a new one. But if you bought a really nice pair of speakers for $1,000 in 2007, and you weren't a nutty audiophile, you'd still have them today in, in 2018 because they would still be really, really, really good speakers. If they were really, really good then, they'd still be really good. So I was trying to make a case that audio deserves a significant portion of your budget, uh, even for a home theater system, because it's going to last. That was the theme. Video technology changes quickly. Audio techno technology, especially speakers, changes slowly. So put the money where it's really going to last and you're going to get long-term benefits from. That was the theory of my first blog. And you know, still feel that way that audio is something you can invest in. Choose wisely, not such an easy thing, but choose wisely and you can get audio that lasts a really, really, really long time. You know, I was at my friend Gene's the other day. He has his Lynn turntable he bought 40 years ago. 40 years ago. And the guy plays records all the time. He's not a digital person. He plays almost exclusively vinyl. He's still playing the same turntable. He has a different arm than he did 40 years ago and certainly different cartridges have come and gone. But the turntable, because it was a wise investment in 1978, it's still there. It's still playing records. It's still a really, really good turntable for a pretty serious audiophile person like Gene. So invest in audio. Investing in, in tech that changes quickly. Like I always say, nothing gets old faster than new tech. So old tech, like audio, like tube amplifiers, and you know, there's new ones coming along all the time, but buy a good one and it'll choose wisely and it'll last you decades. That's the sermon for today. Oh, but I do have a quick music review. So for all you guys who are always saying that you want to hear dynamically uncompressed music, hear something from Chesky Records. I was present at this session. I worked for Chesky at the time. The Persuasions, they're an a cappella group. Aka and Persuasion sing uh, the songs of U2. And first of all, they're so great together. And to hear voices recorded without compression, without equalization, there's no overdubs, there's no fixing, it's just people singing. Great singers playing, singing great tunes. There you go. The, the Persuasions sing U2 on Chesky Records. You can hear voices that sound actually like voices. Shocking. Most, most vocals you hear on records are in a booth wearing headphones, listening to the band in another place, they're overdub, they're processed, blah, blah, blah. These are completely natural. Nothing's been added or subtracted to these voices. That's it. My name's Steve Guttenberg, and I am the Audiophiliac. Thank you so much for watching.